What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about the top five ways to attract a guy uh, and get him to like you. Whether it's on a first date, when you're mingling and cuddling, doing the bedroom Olympics, I don't care. If you're getting it on, doing it, do whatever you got to do, right? This is what you have to create every single time, in the beginning at least, to uh, get a guy to like you. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button. Oh, shit. Hold on. Just click the red button below. Bah! Click one of those, okay? Click one that looks like that, but this way, okay? And if the little bell next to it to become the notification or to become part of the notification squad, where you can get my videos right away. And if you want to work with yours truly, the link is down in the description, okay? So, here's the thing. I talked about them all before, but maybe I want to go into uh, detail on a couple of them. Uh, maybe just give you a different way of thinking about it so on and so forth so you understand what you need to do to get the guy to commit to get the guy hooked okay so number one always 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 probably the number one mistake that women make is they have an outcome they have a goal in mind okay meaning that they're going in with the uh the assumption that it's going to become a relationship Biggest mistake you can make. Now, I understand why you do it, and I understand the security reasons for it. You know, you don't want to waste your time, so you're going to ask him where it's going, where, you know, how, how he feels, the title, or, you know, um, what are we, and things like that. Big no-go. If, if you want a good explanation on why, I will link a video at the end of this video uh, describing all the things you need to do to build attraction and to get a guy to transition into a relationship very in-depth video again i will link it at the end of this video just click the, the video okay link at the uh, it'll be on the picture it'll be over here over there okay so or it might be right here right here who knows uh so freedom of outcome meaning you don't you need to go in without assuming a relationship because once you assume and he picks up on it see here's the thing when you assume there's something there he can pick up on once he picks up on it then you're creating some uh, some gray area. Now he's going to be very hesitant to comply in the beginning if he knows, okay, these are her cards, these are her intentions, but I'm not there yet. So he's very hesitant on complying because if he does, it's basically telling you he's on the same page as you when he's not, okay? So you need to have a freedom of outcome. Number two is you need to give more than take. And both sides need to do this, but you need to give the illusion of it. Relationships come down to benefits, okay? And when I'm dating a girl, I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm giving my resources, time, energy, effort, money, uh, emotional stability or vulnerability, whatever you want to call it, right? Like, I'm tired of giving that up. I got people, boy and girl, like convenience. They like assets, right? They like, they like just sitting back and relax. Uh, or relaxing. Like, I know a lot of women want a man who can actually set a date, um, plan the date, and then go through with the date you know, and she's just along for the ride. I'm not saying you have to do that for a guy, but the woman who assumes the guy's going to pay, the woman who assumes that the guy's looking for the relationship, the woman that is, when you start assuming things, it's, you know, they always say assumptions are the termites of relationships. As soon as you start taking more, and when I say taking, I mean that could be as time, for example. If you're always wanting to text, if you're always wanting to talk, if you're always wanting to see him, if you're always needing him to be emotionally available, things like that, it's not going to work. It, it goes right back up to here, okay? You have to have no outcome. At the same time, that means you got to kind of get rid of this, and you just have to have fun. You need to give. You need to give your time to him, just like he needs to you. I'm not saying you have to give all this thing, all these things up, and he doesn't. But there needs to be a healthy balance, you know. You, and that's why I say, let go of the outcome. Don't even. I shouldn't even put this because you should just worry about having fun, hanging out, goofing around, laughing, so on and so forth. Okay, to create attraction. Because like I said in the other video, if you focus on attraction, okay, attraction, then that will equal a relationship. Now, I had someone in the comments, she, she tried to get me, she tried, to, she tried to get me, she says, that's not true, just because someone's attracted to you doesn't mean there's a relationship, and I'm like, that's true, you know, not everyone who's attracted to you will jump into a relationship, however, you will not have a relationship, oh, I got her with this shit, you will not have a relationship, okay, now, I don't know what the damn sign is, is it that, I don't know what it is, without attraction, right, now, that's just common sense, okay, 
that's just common sense. You're not going to have a relationship without attraction. Now, of course, there's those times where a guy just does it to fill a void or a guy does it, you know, to just have sex with you. So he tells you he wants to get into a relationship where he doesn't really want one. He's not really attractive. He just wants to hook up. I'm not talking about those 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 smaller percentages. I'm talking about the general average person. Yes, attraction doesn't always equal relationship, but a relationship does need attraction, okay? So just fucking focus on attraction, man. That's all you gotta do, Jesus Christ, right? That's all you gotta do. Which gets me down here, of course, boom, sexual tension. Guys are visual, visual sexual, and physical by nature. You need to create this. Now, I can make a video on this, but it doesn't mean you gotta have sex with the guy. You have to put the, 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 the idea in his mind of, um, a, of a sexual tension, sexual energy, okay? It could be getting up in his grill, looking at his eyes. Now, I think my eyes are red. I don't know, but it's so all that. I'm kind of do that. But, you know, it can, uh, it can be getting up and closing the proximity. It could be the way you touch him. And again, there's different touches. There's that hit touch. There's the one where you linger and you kind of rub off on them. You know, I mean, just different things like that cause different stimulations. Um, the conversations you have, how long you look into his eyes, what you're wearing, okay? Um, the sound of your voice. Uh, and, and trust me, that makes a big difference. I know this girl who has an amazing smile in a very, very nice voice, just the way she talked, it's slower, it's sexy, um, but not too much where you pick up on it. Uh, and she hooks a guy every single time with it. She, she even told me, it's, it's like powerful for her, she even told me that, she says, I know once I look at a guy, now it sounds cocky, but it's true. She says, once I look at a guy and smile, and then, we ha and then you know, I say my first sentence, I usually have him hooked. Now, again, that sounds a little cocky, but she does, have that. She has a very, very innocent, yet seductive smile. It's her eyes too, but of course she has a nice voice that goes with it, okay? So you gotta build that sexual attention. Fourth is emotional stimulation. People buy based, this is very important, people buy based on emotions. We don't buy based on logic. Now you can say we do, because you can say there's, you know, think, well, with my finances, I have $300, I'm gonna go buy you know, this, okay? Well, yeah, but the reason you want to buy that thing is more of an emotional uh, stimulant than anything else. People are persuaded and bought on emotion, okay? Not so much logic. When a guy's sitting there wanting to date you, he doesn't look at the logical aspect of what, you know, well, she has what I want, she, she, she's cool, she's this, she's that, uh, okay, I'll date her. No, 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 no. That could all be eliminated, you know, through emotional attraction, emotional stimulation, right? Because I know you see girls out there who don't have the things that you have, yet they're taken, or the guy goes after her. I see it all the time. You know, a woman will be like, well, this guy left me for this, this fucking bitch-ass hoe, or whatever the hell women say. And I, I'm sure you all snap your fingers still. Uh, but she's, you know, this girl, they're like, oh, she ugly as fuck. You, you girls are are nasty to each other, man. I remember in high, short story, I remember in high school, there was a new girl, I got stories now, I got another one from number five, so sorry. But I remember in high school, um, there was this girl, I, I went to a small, all white high school in a small southern town, you know, um, so it was very, very cliquish, and uh, they didn't like newcomers. <laughs> uh, but I remember going, uh, going to school, and I was new this year, and I was all right. I was accepted, right? I, I was a guy. Guys don't give a shit. I was goofy as hell, so they didn't see me as a threat. But this beautiful, two weeks after me, this beautiful Southern Belle, blonde hair, nice body, cute as a button, uh, came in, and all the girls ripped her up with rumors, shit, bad shit behind her, saying shit behind her back, setting her up. And I'm like, damn, dude, like girls are nasty to each other. So bad, two weeks later, she left the school and went to a different one um, uh, 20 minutes away, right? But that, I mean, so, it, you know, it happens, right? But anyway, like I was saying, getting off track there, emotional stimulation. I know a lot of you girls who look at this guy and like, why is he dating her and not me? She probably has something that he's wanting emotionally too. Not, not, not saying that, uh, oh, I could give him that emotional support. No, it's something he's looking for, but at the same time, maybe she's, she's, she's pushing the right buttons that you couldn't, right? If you, you know, I mean, if you watch the end of 500 Days of Summer, I don't know if you guys seen that movie, 
but she had a good line. You know, he asked her, uh, why, why not me? And, you know, or why are you so sure about it? something like that? She says that she was sure about him and something that she, you know, that she couldn't find in the main character. Right? He was just like, oh shit, you know. And this is kind of the same thing. Emotional stimulation is what triggers people to commit. So you have to do that. Whether that's excitement, whether that's watching a scary movie is fear, whether you're on a roller coaster. Uh, the, the great topics you talk about, you have to create some emotional stimulation. That goes very good with the stuff I was talking about up here, which is just hanging out, having fun, good frown, goofing around, laughing, and so on. And of course, finally, painting a picture. And again, I want to tell another story on this because I think it's important. As you guys know, um, I, I said it several times in my videos already, I got in a, you know, I don't want to say bad relationship, but it didn't end well with this girl 10 years ago, and uh, it was horrible, right? I was empty, I needed to fill a void, I was hurt, damaged, I did not want to jump back into a relationship. I was this low ego, I was the guy I talk about in my videos, okay? So what I do, I just went out, started hooking up with women, talking to women, um, manipulating, telling them what they wanted to hear, reading a lot of stuff on PUA, and things like that. Seven months down the road, nine months down the road, I met this girl uh, at a hookah bar. Uh, and I thought, well, she's a really good looking girl. I'm going to not want a relationship, but I'm going to want, you know, to hook up with her. And so I went in and I got her. We went back to my friend's place, yada, yada, yada. However, I ended up staying with this girl. Now, what made her so different? When you're as damaged as I was, you're looking for an answer. You think you know the answer, right? That's the guy, which is, I'm just gonna fill these voids. And this is a guy with a lack of awareness when the guy's doing that, right? Yeah, he, he knows what he's doing, but he doesn't know the reason why. He doesn't know he's always trying to, it's a lot of self-awareness. He doesn't know he's trying to fill the void. He doesn't understand what he's actually doing. But when there's somewhere, or when there's someone there who can actually paint a picture and becomes a great storyteller on what your life would look like with them in it, you start to open up to the idea of, hey, this woman's pretty chill. So she was real. It was just her again. It was just her energy, her the way she talked, the way she carried herself. She was fun. She was flirty. It's not like she was looking for anything with me. She just let it flow and let it be very natural. And just the stuff she was talking about, everything she talked about, whether it be trips or it be the future or this or she her wanting to do this, I pictured myself with her, right? And it got to the point where I was like, wow, my life sucks. It'd be really great with this girl in it. So not after, you know, so after we messed around, I got a hold of her within the following week um, and we started dating ever since. Well, we're not together now. We haven't been together for years. But you know what I mean? We, we dated for a while and she was a great girlfriend. So with that being said, I'm rambling on here. Here's the five things you need to do if you do them you're going to create some attraction, okay? And usually when attraction comes, so does a relationship, if there's enough, of course. Not this way, but this way, of course. With that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.